if your website is having uh, problems adding the items to the cart and you went through the troubleshooting steps that we have outlined which is to check for any cache plugins so in other words um, according to our documentation it says that if your website uh, is not adding items to the cart properly so for example let's say uh, people are ordering uh, this one I can't order yet because the lunch and the dinner special is not available yet but if you're trying to add items to the cart it's not getting added correctly or it's duplicating or it's deleting this is usually caused by a cache plugin okay so go to our help desk on our uh, documentation page and then type in uh, cache or or if what's preventing items from getting added to cart or any one of these uh, questions it'll give you the answer so you have to go through these troubleshooting steps you have to exclude these pages from getting cached which is the online order page the store page the checkout page uh, basically all these pages in here and if you try that and you disable all your cache plugins and you still have the issue you go through your plugins like this and then you kind of go through there one by one and just make sure there's no cache plugins uh, installed and you and you go in their settings and you update that and next step to do is to um, contact your hosting company and have them uh, disable any server side caching that's caching your online order page because you don't want them to cache this page where people order from okay uh, if, it if it gets cached then the items can't get added to the cart if you try all these steps and you can't solve it then use our online ordering page so how do you do that okay so what you would do is you go back to clover.com you will log in back into clover.com find a smart online order find out it's on the left hand side here click on it so what you're gonna do this time is instead of installing it on your own WordPress website or dashboard you're gonna have it created for you so you're gonna choose option three okay just come back here and choose option three right here click on this and then fill out this form so whatever so if your website's name is um, Mike's Pizza or Mike's Cafe whatever it is type it in here and then uh, press enter and then if it's available then that means you can take it and then put your name business name all that information okay uh, once you do that you'll have an online order page up and running for you make sure as you fill out the form to get the logo uh, from your main website okay so if your logo is here save it as a logo and upload it to the logo section so I'm gonna save this I already saved this one now I'm gonna go and try to find some pictures from the website okay I'm gonna press this and see if I can find a picture um, this is a good picture right here I'm gonna let me see if I can actually save this uh, that one is sideways so I can use it sideways use something that's wide Let's see if this is wide. Um, that doesn't work either. Let's try this one here. Okay, this is good. So I'm gonna press right click, save image as header. Uh, hopefully this works. If it doesn't work, then just take a screenshot of it or something like that. Uh, let me see. Hopefully this works, okay? So now what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go here and upload those things, okay? Optional logo optional header and then press submit okay right here submit so make sure to upload your logo and header a lot of people forget to do that because you want to have a, a page that has the logo and the header because it looks much better that way once you create it you're going to link it to your WordPress website so what I mean by that is see here's how it's created look when I click on it right here okay this is what it looks like this is your order online page you're gonna replace this one the one you had before which you, which is this one the one you're having issues with right the one that you had uh, which hold on, I was just using it earlier that one the one that was the let me see if I can go there okay I just clicked on the URL give it a few seconds for it to load actually I forgot to click on it okay it's loading now so you're gonna replace um, anyhow the current online ordering you had. So you're gonna replace, you're gonna add a new button, call it order online, and you're gonna link it where? You're gonna link it here. This will be your new link. You're gonna replace the old one and replace it with this one. Why are we doing this again? 
uh, it's because your website may have a cache, it, uh, cache server side cache, or a plugin cache, or or manage WordPress something that's not allowing you to add the items to the cart. When that happens, do what I just did. It'll help. It'll solve the problem. Okay, and then make sure to watch this video. Okay, and then once you watch the video, make sure to do this to set up your kitchen printer, and then make sure to go through our documentation for additional steps that you may want to do. All right. <laughs> so again, that's how you do that. Um, uh, that's it for today. Uh, feel free to watch the other videos um, on how to do other changes. And again, this is your login link. Remember, this is your new login link. You won't log into your own website no more to make changes. You'll log in through here, all right, because it has this at the end. All right, thank you so much.